JaVale McGee has checked into the lineup. Not playing that game a couple of weeks ago in Cleveland, but with Andre on, agents have a lot to do with it. But that started this stretch for Cleveland. Again, they were 3-0 and to start the season. Then they were 8-7, and despite just going 2-10 in their Turn last 12 as McGee misses. Thank you, Christina, but the Clippers seem to have found an arsenal. They still put up 30 points here in this first quarter as Marcus Morris Sr. delivers on the triple. And you start the game out and you're saying, uh oh they're minus 51 points from those two starters, George. Oh, and there's the follow-up by McGee. Separates the two timers. Sexton to Osmond. Whistle and a foul on the three with one second on the shot clock. And we'll send Jetty Osmond to the free throw line for three free throws. Luke has to be smarter than that. You're not, you don't want to foul a three-point shooter. The clock running out and run into him. And Jetty is smart enough to either put a leg out or bring the arm on the follow-through into the defender. He gets to the line. So you're giving them three points with just under two seconds remaining in the first quarter. It's the 19th time the Clippers have fouled a three-point shooter this year. That's top five in the league, and they always bring it up. It's only eight-tenths of a percent of all three-pointers taken are blocked. Part of the reason, Brian, could be because in practice, if you're demanding the players to get to the three-point shooters and challenge them, one of the terms that coaches use are hand, hand to ball, hand to ball. Get your hand to the ball to challenge the shot. And you're working so hard to do that sometimes that you go a little bit too hard. I mentioned earlier, he's a little bit undersized to that shot. Did indeed. I think I heard you say this earlier in the game, exchanging threes for twos somewhere along the way. You mentioned that. I've said a lot of things here tonight, Zar. McGee runs into Zubat. Ends a year ago in that starting five, and Zub would talk about the inspiration that he would get playing alongside with Pat Beverly, and he lays it in Clippers lead by 13. Burrow deep inside, bothered. Do Ibaka deflected. This is Osman sidestepping defenders, but misses at the iron, and Kennard has the behind Ibaka, who went right to the front of the rim. And I just want you to know, I didn't miss that, you know, foul line defense by the Clippers. It you know, has been very good to me. I let you sneak that one in, but I heard it the whole time. Allen with the flush. He has 13. And now a track meet ensues. Osman for a corner three. Rebound goes to Kennard. Back up top to Luke for three. Nips the front rim and a flat footed JaVale McGee has the loose ball. The two comes right back and steals the ball. Gives Lou an opportunity to make a decision. Am I shooting it? No. I'm going to give it to him driving to the basket. Osmond trying to beat the buzzer at half court. No. And that will do it. And we saw down in South Beach a couple of weeks ago on the same road trip. The played the Cavaliers. Long rebound goes back to the Cavaliers. Osmond for three. Got it. Osmond now with nine. Had just 11 in his previous four games. And Jetty Osmond is in a very tough position uh, because he's been a starter now for a couple seasons at that small forward position. And that's one of the spots that the Cavaliers wanted to bolster a little bit. Now all of a sudden because of who they've drafted and moves that they've made. Osman could be out of the rotation a lot of nights, and he's got to reinvent his game to figure out how he can contribute in different ways. It's the aggression that has been so concerning. And he's looked good here tonight. Clippers by 25. Going up. Bernard loses the handle. Good defense by the Cavaliers. Osman into the front court. Five to play in this third quarter. It has been dominated by the Clippers. Osman with a runner. He is good. He has 11. Perhaps Osman playing with a little less pressure right now in the position that he's in. And misses. By the way, if you were thinking that Washington might be the weak link in there somewhere. They had about a 14, 15 point win today over Boston. Beal playing terrific. Well, if you don't have nine. Oh, 
Austin took three. Got it. And he looks good. He heard you talking about maybe he needs to reinvent his game. He has gone in to MacGyver mode. He's got 14 off the bench. Put in front. Osman inside continues to point fingers at Mike Fratello. He has 16 off the bench. You have really inspired him. Motivation. Wonderful That's what play. you do. That is what you do. 90 seconds to play here in this third quarter. Offline three by Dotson. Long rebound goes to Windler, and he knocks down the 13 free throws in that first half. That was the second most in the first half. Their previous high was Christmas night in Denver. Osman forces up the three, gets his own rebound, and the Cavaliers re-rack the table. But over by travel. Just the ninth turnover for the Clippers here tonight. 106-87. Whistle. And a foul will be free throws here for the Cavaliers. In-game adjustments or long-term adjustments is what he done did with that second unit that has really responded so well ever since. Osman misses on the first of two. Cavaliers, 15 of 21. The Williams will check in. Clippers will have time here, 106-87. Lou has been dazzling in moments like this throughout his Clipper career. 4.7 seconds may seem like it's uh, not too much time. You can go a long way with your dribble in 4.7 seconds. The Clippers can find any daylight here. World tonight, again, still trying to work him back after that knee soreness. 20 minutes tonight. And look good. Osman. Another good look at a three, and he is playing well here tonight. He's 6 of 11, he has 20 points off the bench. Think about that. It was Osmond that started that play by driving and kicking it out. And as soon as he gave up the ball, he ran and replaced to that open spot, and he winds up knocking it down in the end. Kennard. Morris fakes the three and then draws the foul from Osmond. He'll go to the line for three free throws. <laughs> Little ball fake. Senior stepping in. Osmond a little too aggressive. Runs into him. And Ibaka for three. Unfriendly roll. And Osmond has the rebound for the Cavaliers. The Osmond, he is right here in this fourth quarter. is off the charts. Understandably so, he's got 20. Requesting a screen from Ibaka. Try to pass back up top to Kennard. Deflected, recovered by Batum. Into 